Well, King Charles has made his first public appearance since revealing his cancer diagnosis. The King attended the traditional Easter Sunday service in Windsor, meeting and shaking hands with well-wishers. The 75-year-old was joined by other members of the royal family, but the Prince and Princess of Wales were not there. At a time when so much is out of his hands, the optics of this moment mattered. A monarch who isn't hiding away, upbeat, in control, and determined to get back to more of this. Small steps, but with big meaning. Controlled interactions as he undergoes treatment for cancer. King Charles drinking in every second of this rare public outing after attending the Easter service at St George's Chapel. He'd been supported by a small number of those closest to him. Inside, no doubt on doctor's orders, some separation for the king and queen. The wording of the sermon taking on a new poignancy, given what we know. Just a week after the Princess of Wales announced she too had been given a cancer diagnosis, understanding over her absence. And at another big Easter service, the Archbishop of Canterbury starting his sermon like this. In each of our lives, there are moments which change us forever. Sometimes it's individual. We have watched and sympathized with and felt alongside the dignity of the King and the Princess of Wales as they have talked of their cancer. And in doing so, by their lack of selfishness, by their grace and their faith, boosted so many others. The hurdles it would have taken for him to get here, making these steps all the more important. Inside of the castle here at Windsor, this was a noticeably much smaller gathering than in previous years. But at a difficult time personally for the king, clearly this meant so much to him that he was up to doing this, an indication of how he is feeling in himself, and certainly a sign of his determination to get back to work. His effort appreciated by those who got to see him. Everybody was really, um, you know, happy to see him come in and looking, you know, relatively healthy. We all managed to have a few words with him. I did tell the King how marvellous it was to see him looking so well at the moment. I guess if you're going to show everyone that the King's OK, that was a pretty good way of doing it. He looked OK to me when I was holding his hand and wishing him a happy Easter. The King and the Queen, we're told, will now take a short break for a few days. Doubtless in the next few months, the aim of the monarch will be to step up his public-facing duties. Said to be keen to be back in time for the anniversary of D-Day this summer, channelling some of Churchill's spirit not to flag or fail, but fight in his own personal battle with cancer. Katie Spencer, Sky News in Windsor.